All right, welcome back class. Uh, these are the brushes that I'm potentially going to use. Have a filbert here. It's a bigger it's bristle. Um, that way I can get thicker paint. You'll see my brush strokes a little bit more. I also have a smaller filbert. Filbert just means uh, the shape of the brush. Doesn't matter the shape, um, but the texture of the brush actually matters a bunch. And the shape does matter, but uh, not in this painting so much. So also have these synthetics, uh, they're flats, um, just two different sizes. Uh, typically you wanna use the bigger brush to carry the most area um, for each shape that you possibly can get away with is what I, my rule of thumb. Uh, and we'll sit here and go from there. I'm gonna sketch this thing out for you and hopefully you'll be able to see it and the angle of the canvas with the phone won't be too distorted, uh, but we'll we'll make it through somehow. All right, guys, thanks for doing this for us. All right, let me get this situated. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna obviously I put our image that we're painting up here, and our canvas down here. I am probably gonna lift it up maybe another notch so you can see the whole canvas. You have this in front of you. You don't really need to see it. Now, like I said earlier, uh, you can mark out these areas just to help you for guidelines. I think about it in my head if I'm painting from an image or a photo that I've taken, um, thinking about where the middle is, if I like that composition. So we, I'm just gonna stick with this composition. We're gonna go with it. Uh, so let's start out. I'm gonna start out with a thin filbert and I'm gonna thin out my paint to start with um, so it draws like an ink drawing. So we have it just, we can have a smooth continuous line and <clears throat> wanna just thin it out and grab a blue. It doesn't matter what I grab because this, this painting is all basically blue anyway. So, I mean, I can just come by and, you know, if I needed that confidence myself about this grid system, obviously I'm not huge on the grid or anything. These don't have to be perfect. I'm not, it's just to kind of help you out and so you don't get lost. It's easy to get lost on these. You might think um, one hilltop's another hilltop. So just be wary of where you are and what's going on and what shape you're actually trying to make and which line it actually is. We need to find a horizon line. So one of the easiest ways to do that is uh, a couple ways. I see right here, if you can tell like this uh, mountain range actually ends in the middle of where I put that uh, dot. So I might just start there and I know, you know, it's still here. I can go up to my other guidelines and see how far it's come down. Even if I take that line across, it's still kind of in the middle. So it goes up and then it goes to a slight curve down and it ends probably halfway between here and these scenarios, the, these grid lines. So that's a good thing. Um, I can even come up here and have the blue nowhere, this like dark blue line. That image ends, it ends, up in here, it kind of goes up, comes down, about right in there, and simple lines. I'll be painting the other irregularities of these lines later, um, just trying to gauge what's going on at this moment. So right now I have that line, this line, I can draw in this hill in the background, that'd be fine. So. Kind of starts here, goes up, kind of comes down, and goes off to the page. Up and out, about halfway, if you see it between there. So there you go on that one. Let's do the this next mountain range. I uh, know it kind of comes up here. So if my center line's here, I know that the peak getting in the center, 
I know it's out on the side, which is good for us compositionally. Um, there's times where you want things in the center and off center. Uh, just depends on your preference of compositions. But I can definitely have that as this whole area. Now this area, it ends abruptly, sort of at the top. I think I'm gonna push my artist license. I'm gonna push this hilltop back just a little bit, just so we have, it doesn't end quite abruptly at the top of this mountain. Um, little things like that you can change because we don't see this mountain range moving on forward. Uh, and it's probably gonna be better for us if I push it out a little bit and then and then have that mountain range. And obviously it doesn't hit that guy line that goes underneath. So then we have that. Um, the highlight in our sky, I could throw that in. If we want to put these highlights in, you can. It's not in this, it's not very necessary to add them for our sky. Our sky, as long as we have these colors, will transition well into what we want. Next thing I'll do is I might just switch color to like just a little bit of green so you can see our foreground. Thin it out just so it, so that we can have it as like a line. And I can start out with this big tree. Like I know that the treetop kind of ends up here and obviously it comes down straight, right? And we have a bush or two in front of it and some foliage but our basic shape of this tree is something like that. Obviously a Christmas tree in its basic form, but we're gonna have ins and outs on this tree. Doesn't matter, this is just our guidelines for this moment. And while we paint, we'll carve in to places that we need. If you like a little more of a uh, detail rendering, that's fine, do that. Like render it a little bit more, we know that like a big branch right there doesn't come all the way out, but the next branch kind of peaks over that mountain hill. The next branch does two, next branch does, and then you have like this, the mass up here, um, and the next branch and the next branch. And then a lot of, and the rest is pretty much solid, you know? You don't have to do that, but and it, the rest is pretty much solid. Uh, we also, while I have this color out, um, I don't want to put it halfway. I, I might, I might just move it slightly over to the right a little bit. Uh, doesn't, doesn't cross this dark path, this dark mountain. So that's way too high in general anyway. And I'll leave it down here and things get brushed out and You can have just irregular shapes. It doesn't matter. Nobody knows what you're painting unless they see this video and know exactly what you did. So don't tell them that you're watching this video. Just paint it. Have fun. This is a good reference material to learn. Um, and then next, I'm just trying to find the outline of the lighter area in between. And then it kind of goes off. So basically, that's our sketch and we'll tackle it from there.